Fontenelle Forest in Bellevue is all about preserving nature and giving back through conservation. A new area of the forest is just about to open this weekend and is dedicated to birds of prey. Of course, we find Lindsay Thies there to give you the first look. That's right. Well, guys, live here in Bellevue with Ruffian. She's a about, we think, three-year red tail hawk, and she loves her uh, her little snacks. I'm not going to tell you what they are because we might have kids at home watching, and uh, you can learn about the circle of life by coming here. That's what we were talking about. Uh, this refuge that is all dedicated towards birds of prey has been quite a bit of time in the making, and today folks got the first look at birds just like Ruffian. Take a look. There we go. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Friday, more than three years and two million dollars worth of work went to the birds. And folks like Janice Vieda de Salsa couldn't have been more excited. This is wonderful because I remember when you guys just had it where you just had the owl. Janice and her kids Mila and Eric. Not you. I know. And me. We're among the first in line to see the new Raptor Woodland Refuge on the grounds of Fontenelle Forest. In total, 17 raptors are housed in 13 different structures, each one specifically designed just for them. All of these birds were too sick or hurt to return into the wild. Birds of prey like Angus. Swainson's hawks are really amazing. They travel 12,000 miles from the northernmost part of North America all the way down to Argentina, and they do that twice a year. But turkey vultures are so cool because they don't have any feathers on their head. Um, do you know what they eat? Anything dead? But they eat, exactly, they eat carrion. The animals have been adjusting to their new homes for six weeks, so they're not skittish and are actually up front and center, staring back or some not even bothering with the humans. It's all part of Fontenelle Forest's mission of conservation. They've been taking care of raptors for years. And in Elmwood, Nebraska, we have a magnificent facility where there are probably about 70 volunteers from across the state of Nebraska and even some in western Iowa that identify injured, ill, orphaned raptors and bring them to our care center. And with this, the nonprofit hopes that others will fly away with the idea to help these birds too. And back out here live at the forest. So here's what you need to know. This is open to the public. Every day that the forest is, the grand opening is just for members today. But tomorrow, starting at 10 a.m., you can come and check it out. They're open until 5. And best part, if you're a member, it's free. It's included with the cost of admission, so you're not having to pay too much extra. Always nice when you're trying to watch the cash with what to do with the kids for the weekend. We are live in Bellevue. I'm going to send it back to you.